like you radiate passion, joy, optimism, at least everything on camera. And we don't, <laughs> <laughs> but I know product innovation is super messy. Working with people is very messy. You have different pathways that things can spiral down and there's risks and challenge and naturally like fear of failure is also a piece, right? You've invested so much in the space to have it all collapse or have a competitor come in and just like eliminate you overnight or all these crazy things that could happen. It's very real. So I'm curious if you could bring us into some of maybe the darker days or challenges you've had to navigate during the journey and how you continued to progress through that to eventually get to a moment with moment where what you're building is on Stevie's Lake. Yeah. 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 Those are good questions. You know, I think that every startup can relate to having to push timelines. And I would say that is the biggest source of stress for me because timing is everything in business, but especially in startups, like you live or die on your timing. And it relates to the burn rate you were talking about earlier. It relates to the fundraising. It relates to a competitor coming in and taking you out overnight. Like if you can move faster, you can be more successful. And so when you have to push a timeline back, that can be really demotivating. So there have definitely been times where we've had to push a timeline, um, and that you're just dealing with a lot of emotions there. You obviously don't want to be delaying the timeline, but you know, it's the best dis business decision. And so you're navigating your own emotions around that decision while also having to then, um, manage the relationship with the people that are involved in that. So if it impacts manufacturing, now you're managing those manufacturing relationships. If it impacts user feedback, now you're reaching out to all those clinics who are so excited to try your device and you need to update them on the, you know, update and timeline. Delay. Okay. If it's investor related, right? You're, you're updating them on what's happening. So there is a lot of relationship management and expectation management that happens in startups that I think is underappreciated when you start and is a skill you really hone quickly as you develop at the company. 